So being that, I'm going to say, I mean, of course you played piano, but you said you got here and you kind of just fell into the making beats, being a producer. How did your style evolve over time with your learning different? I had to start simplifying it. Mm. You know what I mean? When you play music in church, you're all over the place. You, yeah, you play, okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's like <laughs> when you're a producer, you have to scale all of that back. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I had to learn how to simplify my music so that people can rap and sing over it. You try to use up all 32 tracks. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm in that just play. You're I'm, so, I'm so low on everything. You know? <laughs> Ooh, this nigga little. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, we learned how to scale back. So I, I learned that really quick, though. I had, mm-hmm. I was working around legends, though. I mean, Mike oh, Dean, yeah. no joke. John oh. Beto was the first person that. Shout out John Beto. Really cultivated me and taught me how to scale it back. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I started getting polished around Mike Dean and Inno Joe. Yes, yes. yes. So being around the rap a lot posse, the rap a lot family, we're not going to call them anything but family, okay? Yeah. Talk about that experience. I mean, it was good. I, fe- I, f- I, f- I felt right into the, to the mode, you know what I'm saying? Yes. So it's like, man, you know, you come from where I came from, being on the run, being in the streets in Louisiana and all of that, I was already accustomed to being around stiff people, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Rap like they stiff people, you know what I mean? When I say stiff, they they stand behind you, you know what I'm saying? Yes. They 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 have rules and regulations that they stand on. Yes. So I was able to mature a lot faster when I got to rap a lot. Yes. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you're talking about a guy that was walking, and then within like six months, I was in a six hundred Mercedes Benz. Ooh. You know what I mean? So when you, so you got nothing negative to yeah. say about Jay Brown. I, I I would never. Yes. You know what I mean? If I, even if I did, as a man, if I had some negative to say about dude, I'm going to say it to him. Exactly. I'm going to talk to him about it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to never discredit that dude or ever in life. I don't care what the situation is because without mm-hmm. them taking me in, I wouldn't be where I'm at. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have a legacy. I wouldn't have nothing to pass to my children mm. without rap a lot saying, hey, man, we're going to give you a chance. They didn't have to. Big Chief didn't have to fuck with me not one time. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so That's real. You know what I mean? I can't never forget where the roots came from and who gave me that opportunity. Because I got a lot of doors slammed in my face. And I, mm. I, I got laughed at, too. Wow. But, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, them laughs. Keep on pushing. <laughs> you just kept on pushing. Yeah. 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 So, being around Jay Prince, I know Jay, Jay can be motivational at times. Mm. You know, he can, you know, say some real motivational things. Do you recall any advice he gave you throughout the years that, that really stuck out and stuck with you? I mean, it wasn't really the advice. It was the leading by example. Okay. You know, when you see a, a nigga that got multi-million dollars and stay up all night trying to figure out how to make some more, mm. make you want to make some. You, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? I tell you, boy, it ain't yeah. no worse than I tell you, I was saying this the other day, you should never let your boss outwork you. Nah. Nah. Um, I mean, if, if my boss outwork, I'm going to rock there with him. When he decided to go sleep, I'm gonna go sleep. When he leave, then I'm gonna leave. Yeah, you know it's one of them type. Of, I was, that, and that's that's how I came up. In I the mean, that, that's At how least it is. Not why he awake. Yeah, that's how yes. it is. You know what I'm saying? That's how it's supposed to be. I remember when uh, Jay used to always see me. Every time he'd see me, was I was in the studio working. So one particular time, he came to a party that Mike Jones was having. Yeah, and Mike Jones stayed around the corner from me. So he had pulled up on me after the party, and when he came to my house, he's like, "God damn, Lee." Damn, man, you you you've been getting it in. You know what I mean? He didn't know I was getting it in that much. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But dude, I went from a one bedroom apartment apartment to a mansion. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because I, you worked your way yeah, there, buddy. Yeah, but I got the opportunity from yes. another black man to do what I wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you get what you put in. It's your girl Jazzy K with Super Tight TV. We want to thank everyone that's been watching. Hey, if you do us a favor and hit that subscribe button, also press the notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. No, I'm gonna get some game tuned in with Super Tight. Yeah, I get the low love from Big Bobo from the front seat, not no photos.